Today I'm going to be talking about the platonic solids, special shapes in three dimensions that have been known about since antiquity. First of all, what is a platonic solid? It's a regular convex polyhedron. So what does that mean? Well, a polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape with flat sides. Regular means that all the sides are the same shape and size. And convex means that any two points on the surface can be connected by a line that doesn't cut through the surface. There are exactly five platonic solids. The tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. These have got 4, 6, 8, 12, and 20 sides, respectively. It's easy to see why there can't be any more than the five platonic solids. At least three faces have to meet at each corner or vertex in order to make a closed 3D shape. And when you add up the internal angles that meet at a vertex, it must come to less than 360 degrees, otherwise the shape would just flatten out. A regular or equilateral triangle has internal angles of 60 degrees, so you can satisfy the conditions for a platonic solid by having three, four or five regular triangles meeting at each vertex, leading to the tetrahedron, the octahedron and the icosahedron. The internal angles of a regular quadrilateral or square are 90 degrees, so you can make only one platonic solid from squares, the cube with three squares meeting at each vertex. The internal angles of a regular pentagon are 108 degrees. So again, you can make only one platonic solid using pentagons, the dodecahedron. And there you have it, the five platonic solids. You can't make a regular convex polyhedron that has hexagonal faces because a hexagon has internal angles of 120 degrees. So if you make three regular hexagons meet at a point, they'll just form a flat surface, not part of a closed shape. Why are they called platonic solids? Plato certainly wrote about these shapes in his famous work Timaeus. He linked four of them with the classical elements earth, air, fire and water. Earth was associated with the cube, air with the octahedron, fire with the tetrahedron, and water with the icosahedron. A fifth element, quintessence, which was believed to make up the universe beyond the earth, was linked with the dodecahedron. And by a strange coincidence, one of the shapes that's been proposed by modern cosmologists for the universe is a higher dimensional version of the dodecahedron. So the platonic solids get their name because Plato was well known and he wrote extensively about them, but he certainly didn't discover them. The Egyptians knew about some of them, as did Pythagoras and his followers well before Plato. A contemporary of Plato's, Theotetus, gave a mathematical description of all five and may have been the first to prove that there can't be any others. Leave a comment below if there are any special topics you'd like to see covered in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching.